Fox News alert, millions of American families could lose their homes when the federal eviction moratorium expires tonight at midnight. It took effect in March as part of the CARES Act for coronavirus relief. Now, many experts say we are on the verge of a full-blown eviction crisis. Jillian Turner is live in Washington with more. Jillian. Hi, Melissa. So you're right. The federal government's ban on evictions during the pandemic is set to expire in just a few hours. And now about 20 million American families are facing the threat of being kicked out of their homes. It's something experts have been ringing alarm bells about in recent weeks because this month alone, July, 32 percent of American households missed either their rent or their mortgage payments. It's a staggering number. Experts also say America's biggest cities are going to be hit the worst. That's where most renters live. Um, exhibit A, New York City. Take a listen. We are about to go over a cliff here in this city in terms of people potentially losing their housing, and we have to stop it. Los Angeles is another potential hotspot on the verge of crisis. Even though I'm receiving unemployment, it's still not the same amount that I was before. Uh, my rent is like about 30 percent of my, my income was before the pandemic. Democratic leadership wants to include housing assistance in the next coronavirus supplemental bill that's working its way through Capitol Hill now. Listen to Chuck Schumer. If we pass emergency rental assistance and extend the evictions moratorium, we'd help families and individuals pay the bills, stay in their homes, stabilize the rental market, and keep up, help owners keep up with their property taxes and mortgages. They claim more homelessness will mean more sick Americans. Here's Elizabeth Warren. Forcing thousands of people out of their homes during a pandemic will make a public health crisis worse. Widespread housing disruptions will also affect essential workers and others who are keeping our economy going. Neither Schumer nor Warren, though, can resist dinging Republicans. We are just days away from a housing crisis that could be prevented if Mitch McConnell stops stalling and the Senate acts. Now, we've talked to Republicans all morning long over on Capitol Hill and at the White House. They all say keeping Americans in their homes is a top priority for President Trump and mass scale evictions ain't going to happen on his watch. Melissa. We will see. Jillian Turner, thank you for that.